Hello, this is Uncle Spock. Today I want to show you uh, my Nano Controller 2, which I was able to make work better with my voice meter. <laughs> um, anyways, what I wanted to show you is that my faders and everything is really easy to set up. I mean, that's all straightforward. Uh, we just go in to map everything out on our MIDI controller. I'll show you that real quick. So I just click in here, go into my MIDI controller, make sure your nano controller is clicked on here and you can map these out to learn these channels just by clicking on the learn and then you move it. Um, same thing like for your mute. Say for example, you want to mute your second channel right here. Click that and learned it. Good to go. Thing is you push this. Yeah, it mutes. Perfect. The only thing is the light only flashes. It doesn't stay on. I don't really like that. So I found a way to fix that. Or a workaround, however you want to call it. Uh, so what we do is we unmap all of the buttons that I programmed. So the only thing we have learned is just the faders and the knobs or the the sorry, whatever this is called, the sliders, there we go. The sliders and the knobs are, are programmed and working. So for us to go back to the controller to set, to set that up, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna disable the MIDI input for a minute so I can recognize it and the controller or this editor, right? So the control editor is what we have to change to make everything work the way I want it to. So we make sure we're in the control here under common. MIDI channel, well, it doesn't have to be one, but I have it on channel one. Uh, you can put multiple MIDIs and have different channels to do different things. So I want to make sure it's on channel one for me. Uh, the control mode has to be CC. And the most important part is the LED mode is to be to external. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to write that data. Um, for me, one thing I found out, I don't know if it's from, because I messed around with it a lot, but make sure that this is set to automatic, not on manual for me to in and out. And that is it. Close this out. I'm not even going to save it. We're good to go. Now, the important part is now, if we were to check this out again, if I mapped out, let's say, um, let's do our mute button on channel two, right? Oh, uh, works better if we select this back here. There we go. So now you can see the mute works still, but now no lights turn on. Nothing, none of the lights turn on. That's what we want. And the reason why, because now we're going to create something different. And that is macro buttons. It is a little complicated. Uh, did a lot of research a lot of manual poking and a lot of scratching my head. <laughs> Finally was able to make it work, figured it out. Now is if you can see, if I push as soon as this is open, uh, it will automatically open now when you have this set to start on, on open. So what we're gonna do is if I push my mute button now, you can see that turns on and my mute light stays on. And I also have a cough button to where I can just push it, hold it, and the light turns turns on and off. Yes, it work on them. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let's go back. Uh, and also the solo buttons work as well. So we can see that if I go back and forth, um, there's no way to change the colors. These LEDs are red. I was if there was, it would turn yellow like it does here, but not an option. Anyways, if we go, I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm going to open this up. It's going to look a little intimidating. We have to program this, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and copy this string right here just to make it easier because I'm not a programmer. I don't know. I know what all this is, and I'll explain it to you. 
but that is as far as I know. <laughs> so I'm going to make another mute button for my Discord. So I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to call this, this button name, I'm just going to call it mute. The sub name, I'm going to call it Discord because this is my Discord channel. And then I'm going to paste that string that I have right here. Uh, so basically each one of these are strips, right? Each one of these are strips. And these over here is something different. I'm going to explain it over here. These are buses. But so strips, it starts with zero. So strip one, two, or zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this would be for my Discord, this would be strip zero, one, two. So this is strip two. That's important because this is going to control strip two. And what it's going to control is the mute, which is the mute button. So dot mute equal one means on. Okay. This line, <coughs> I'm going to explain it to you right now, which is the system or system send MIDI. That's going to, it's talking about this unit right here. Okay. And it's the out one is just the command line saying, I guess it's just, saying it's going to talk to this machine and it's going to do a control change. I mean, it's going to change things around. And what it's going to do is it's going to channel one, which is, remember I told you it can have like from one to 16. This is channel one. So if you had another one, it would be two or if you wanted to program out. So anyways, and then this right here is the button number. So what I mean by that is we're going to learn a new button number, right? So we're going to learn this one and we want to learn the mute button on this one, which is my discord button. So I'm going to go ahead and push that. And I did. Now it shows it right here, number 50. So we're going to change this to 50. And this line right here means the LED. So zero is off and 127 is on. Anything in between that is a dim. Uh, I don't know if these are dimmable. I haven't played with it. So, but it would be, you know, half of this is what 60 something, 60 whatever uh, would be half of this would be halfway dimmed. But anyway, so we want zero for off because we want it to start off and then be on strip two, mute equal one means on. And we're going to copy this and we're going to do to the bottom because we're going to tell what happens when we push the button again. Going to copy, I'm going to paste it. So the same thing. So now we want it to turn off, so it'd be zero, right? And then all this stays the same except for this because now we want to turn the LED off. The other thing is now we want this to be a two position button, okay? And we're going to go ahead and check it out. Let's see if it mutes it. We're going to push that. Look at that. It muted, but it turned that one on. The reason is, er, I didn't change these over to 50. Say I'm not a professional, um, but I was able to find out the reason why it was doing that. Now it turns the light on and off in the right position. So I guess if you guys make the same mistake, you saw what I did and you can figure that out. So for the solo is almost the same thing. The difference is it's not a mute, it is solo. So it's basically the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and copy this. And I'm gonna paste this in here. And we're going to learn the solo button, which is 34. So now when I copy, this is going to go to the right channel. And the strip is now two, not one. And now I'm going to copy this into here. And this is going to be start off, which would be zero. And I'm going to copy this 
and this is going to be off and on zero and we're going to name this um what do we want it was supposed to be discord or it's going to be solo discord and that should be working okay uh what i did is i left it on push so if you saw if i push the button it went to solo so we want two position and there we go went solo stayed on like i said light turns on you couldn't hear me so there we go we're set and for the cough button is basically the same thing again as we did for here except for instead of having two push you have just push button so if i push that it'd be just just like that now coming over to here to my headset i have um my fader which was kind of um it's different to set up for the mute because I want to set up a mute button for my headset so I can mute so I'm not listening to my headset. Because it's on this channel over here, for me to make that mute work, the difference what I had to do was this is called a bus and not a channel like over here. See the strip? So instead of being strips, they're buses. Everything on this side's a bus, so it'd be bus zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That is the only difference. Um, everything else exactly the same. I have the two button pushing, and I can also set it to just do like the momentary. Of course, there's no solo on here, so you can. I don't have that program. I'm not going to program it because I don't know of anything I want to use it for. So that was my programming. Uh, hopefully I was able to help you guys out and hopefully it helps somebody out as, as well. Uh, you guys know what to do, share, like, subscribe, and until then, everybody take care. Uncle Spock out.